uh, Cameroon yesterday and effectively arrived at Luanda uh, last night and uh, we saw them at, um, in good shape preparing for the match against uh, uh, their counterparts of Angola uh, tomorrow. What is it uh, that has gone well and not well in the den of uh, the Lions and uh, we uh, this evening asking the question whether it is time for Cameroonians across the board to mobilize for another victory against uh, the Angolan national team tomorrow. We are discussing this with Cameroonians who are with me in the studio, regular panelists, uh, but who are supporters of the Lions and uh, fervent uh, uh, critics of uh, what is also happening. Uh, they are going to be giving us uh, their opinions as to what needs uh, to be done to seal the victory that we had against uh, victory with and not uh, against um, uh, Cape Verde in Yaoundé uh, with another victory against Angola tomorrow. We are in the company of uh, Mr. Fahel Vista Tayong. He is the under secretary for communication for the CRM uh, Cameroon Renaissance uh, Movement. He is uh, also called the Kangaroo Man is <laughs> in a way. For some time, we're glad to have you back. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Kum. Uh, it's my pleasure marking present here today. Uh, greetings equally to the level-headed headed panelist. We are equally present here. Greetings to um, Professor Maurice Camto of the CRM, and of course, um, the greetings to uh, we have uh, Bibon Nisak, uh, the spokesman to uh, Professor Maurice Camto and uh, Professor Len Foggy, and a host of others who are still under detention till now. And greetings to all other. Um, we have um, English speaking. Uh, uh, Cameroonians who are still under detention for one reason or the other. But then the Royal Majesty of Gunoko, uh, Dr. Fumiki Waters, and to all the people of Gunoko Village, uh, including uh, Naba Christopher watching us live from Gunoko Village, I say greetings to all of you. The Kangaro system has been manifesting the way it's manifesting. We will try to continue to unseat and unravel the confusion that is around the Kangaro system, so to say. Thank you. Mr. Tazi is also here with us. He's, he is an expert on uh, um, is it uh, maritime? Yes. Yes. Uh, he is a maritime expert and uh, has done a lot with uh, shipping across uh, the globe. He lives in uh, Boya, coming all the way uh, to be part of uh, this program. Good evening. We're glad to have you. Thank you very much, Mr. Leo, and thank you for your thank your entire team for the wonderful work you are doing out here. And thank you for inviting me. We thank you for the opportunity. Uh, you call us for us to celebrate our victory. We come back, then see how we can move forward and make uh, our own contributions. We hope that uh, uh, we will not take this victory for the solution to the problems that we have because uh, we hope that we will go to the root cause and make sure we solve the problems and put these issues to rest so that the players and the management team can be focused on the competitions that lie ahead of them. Okay, thank you for accepting our invitation, Mr. Aloysius. Uh, we also are in the company of uh, Mr. Ndiwum Emmanuel, who is with us uh, in the studio once again. Good evening, Mr. Atwabi. Good evening, Mr. Leo. Good evening to all my co-panelists and uh, the lovers of Prime. Uh, it's a pleasure once more to be here. And um, I want to take this opportunity to thank those young guys who have made their entry, their way into the national team, in the qualities of uh, Baleba, who have proven that Cameroon has talent in every domain. If at all we will accept to use the talents to the end, then it's a happy moment for us. But then I want to say here that before coming to this studio, I got this announcement that caught my interest. President Macron opting to dissolve the French National Assembly. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping that those manning power in Yaoundé should equally be understanding that since they are doing copy and paste system of government, if there is a way they can start copying this one to know that the Senate in Cameroon serves us at nothing, it will, serve, it will go a long way to save the budget have been swallowed in Cameroon for a very long time without result. Yes, except that uh, uh, French uh, President <coughs> Macron made that decision yesterday. He's dissolving uh, Parliament to call for fresh elections at the end of uh, this year because he got uh, trashed at the European <laughs> elections by um, the far-right party of uh, Marine Le Pen. 
is so, salutary. Yes, so he <laughs> is calling for early elections to, to see whether actually this lady is more than <laughs> he or not. Yes, and uh, we are moving straight uh, into our discussions. We hope that we are going to be getting Mr. Kede Lawrence, who is also going to be joining us uh, through Skype from Yaoundé, the nation's uh, capital. Uh, Ella, I don't know whether he is there, but once he's there, uh, let me know. I, I am told that he's not there. Um, yeah, first, a reaction. Uh, the kangaroo man, after the victory uh, that Cameroon um, got over the, their Cape Verdean um, counterparts. Well, um, the reaction is, uh, I don't know how to put it. Um, what celebrating? We saw, we saw the city of Yaoundé that yeah, came alive. Yeah. It's what celebrating for people who are celebrating. It's what celebrating for people who are celebrating. Uh, why do I say so? Um, I think that we cannot be celebrating uh, victory in the midst of uh, exposing our data lineage to the public with the disgrace we have been recording of recent. Um, I think all the wahala between Faker Food and Menseb has quite very often shown that um, people are seemingly uh, to be in control, yet there's nobody who is in control, particularly. So at the end of it, um, I did not really celebrate with Kani with you. Um, when I look at that, there were reasons that did not uh, warrant me to celebrate. Okay. Uh, reasons number one, the fact that the aspect, it is just during this period that I realized that there has been money crisscrossing the corridors in the name of football, which means that there is a game of interest, personal interest and not national interest, for those that man end of these structures. And I know um, one of the second technical advisor or the, to the Ministry of Sport and Physical Education, Professor Tolu, once mm -hmm. said in one of his outings that uh, Olimbi Stadium is in order and even the hotel which is underground is doing well. And I started asking myself, if people are fighting at Hilton Hotel, why could they not just move over to Olimbi where they have their own hotel? That they will not even fight with anybody because there will be enough rooms that they can sleep and maybe they put their bags in one room, they have their, 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 their telephones in another room, and at the end of it, we realized that it was a total sham. So at the end of it, while they are fighting the corridors of Heaton Hotel, the Olympia Stadium is still begging for finishing till now. Ivory Coast came just of yesterday. They had finished with the African Cup of Nations, and all their stadiums across the country are perfectly finished. There's nothing that they are still hanging. So, if I see people jubilating, I call this a total distraction because we have more than enough problems to handle. People are somewhere they don't have food to eat. In the far north, there are areas that children are studying under, a, under trees. In the northwest, southwest, there are people that don't have health facilities. I mean, roads calling for concern. Yet, whole billions are crisscrossing in the name of football. And we are here, we are jubilating. Are we really normal in this country? I call that a distraction of the first order. In as much as people claim to be patriotic, but at the long run, we ask ourselves, we have been winning. What has happened with the money that has been coming in? Or what happens that the government will cough billions? The right there, the female team, they were started somewhere. Handball was supposed to go out, they could not go out. Are we saying that the Ministry of Sport and Physical Education should now be called the Ministry of Football? Because attention is at football. Because who pays us the money are coming out. And at the same time, the government, imagine how much they tell us that the government spends to also subsidize Fika Food at a point in time before Fika Food and Kafa are coming in. We start asking ourselves, if football was a developing aspect of a nation, Brazil should have been the richest country in the world. What am I saying, Mr. Lo? It simply means that football, I know football fans will be getting angry. I'm just giving you my, 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 the, the, the truth. Football, to me, should be an aspect of entertainment for countries that have arrived. European League, Bundesliga, they have arrived. So every evening, people will feel free as a point of relaxation. You cannot be telling me to be jubilating when I have not eaten. You cannot be telling me to be jubilating when four prices are increasing. Carolina, something, something is wrong with their, with, with their mentality. The problems are around the corner. Shooting every day, the other day is tanker, shooting, shooting. The other day, uh, vehicles were burning by men and all the like. People are dying. And then somebody sits. The other is a councillor from where? Who are, uh, from Zua. Who was shot the other day? Nobody's commenting. All is football. Something's wrong with this company. I'm sure we have been bewitched. Because lives are going. It means nothing. I have, I've gone on foreign. 
Eto up, eto down, eto this, eto that. I mean, save this, uh, professor, uh, come be this and that. We don't have work to do. I tell you that if nobody, that's why I needed a sports journalist to be here. So they tell me that what has football done to develop Cameroon? How much money came in from FIFA? And that money was used to construct a health center in Way or Kufutu. How much came in? And they went to Benakuma, Benade, uh, uh, and all the like, and they were able to construct roads because the money that came from football. If you cannot give me your statistics, it's no news to me because I think that all that grammar were jumping up and down. People are I have seen suffering. These people are talking like that, they have not seen suffering. And the worst thing is that people in the rest of areas who are suffering are also talking about football and jubilating. I said, there's witchcraft too. Because the man over there in Gremanduka, who does not have a good health center, is also jubilating and making comments on things that people are fighting with their interest. Do you know, Mr. Leo? That that fight between fake food and Minsa is a matter of personal interest. It's not nation. That is why the players have understood that we are coming to work with our money. If we join this we'll be fighting, we'll be losing. How do you play a football match? And just for your training, you have one million. Your training session, one million. Those guys are working their money. How many players have come with that money and come and say, apart from Eto, because we have Pavillon. That's why I say that people could talk anyhow. My response for Eto is that I have seen him do things that has impact on humanity. Those who have a tone in their business, I'm saying what I know. Because when I go Easter and La Catine, I see the, like, the pavillon. I remind me that a tone constructed this thing and is helping Cameroonians good. Apart from that, these boys who come and work their money and go to Europe, they have big houses in Europe and other they are living well. What impact is that their money to the common man in Munya market? What is the impact to the man in the Mundemba market? If you play ball, if you are Mundemba and you are shouting, whoa, whoa, whoa. Even fighting and boxing people in the, in, in, on the street because of football. Something is wrong with your mentality. Have you eaten? Do you have what it takes to, 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 to live well? If you don't have all these things, please, if football is not adding anything meaningful to your economy, let the football stay. If not, I said again, Brazil, Argentina would have been the richest countries in the world. Football is for entertainers, entertainment, okay. if you have arrived at. If you have not arrived at, there is war. Not where Southwest is my concern. Okay. Let us hold that one time. Okay. Anything from that, we are just joking. Thank you. Yes, uh, Mr. Aka. Let's look at the victory over COVID. We saw a population that has been thirsty for a victory. And for a very long time, we've not seen the balance also win by three goal margin, which uh, is to say that this was um, a, new, a new hope given to the people. Uh, Mr. Kum, what I want to say is that we must understand and agree that it is one unifying thing in Cameroon today. It is football. It is one unifying thing in Cameroon that unifies people in Cameroon from north to south, east to west, and, and even causes people to forget their priorities. It is football. That is why I was very surprised I was very surprised at the way the government handled this crisis started, because uh, I thought that I thought that the government understands that uh, uh, football is one, one, if not the only unifying thing that is unifying Koreans together. And when such a crisis begin, it would have been the place of the government to call the minister of youth and sports, call the the, the person of Africa food, put them down. Put in front of them the law of FIFA, the law, the common constitution, and the convention between FECA food and. Uh, and uh, how, how do and, you expect uh, the government to call the minister when it is the president who gave instructions for the minister to step in? Mr. Kum, thank you for that question. I think there's something here that we are a wrong thing that we think that has become right because it's been done so often. This Cameroon is supposed to be a lawful country, and nobody is above the law. We are governed by the laws of the land. And in my opinion, everybody, there is nobody who should be above the law. When something like that happens, you should read what the text says. What does the text say? What are the responsibilities of a food? What are the responsibilities of the minister? Where, is the, where does the minister's line end? And where the, so, I mean, it's, it's, it's surprising that we allow it to, to, to grow to this level where it became a public thing, fight, this one writes a letter, this writes a letter. And to come back to your initial question of the victory, 
I want to suggest that this victory should not, uh, should not deceive us to feel that uh, the problem is finished. My suggestion will be that the government still goes back and makes sure everything is put to rest between Fekan Food and the minister because believe it or not, we are human beings. Those players are human beings. No matter what you do, there will be players that will be loyal to Eto, to the Fekan Food, and there will be players that will be loyal to the minister. And this loyalty affect their unity, will affect their participation in the future. For now, they may have tried to be neutral, but this is a wonderful opportunity that God presented to us. That with this victory, why we are swept by this victory to be focused on the next match, the, those who have the responsibility to seize this golden opportunity presented to us by God and make sure that they solve this problem between Fekal Food and the Minister of uh, Ministry of uh, Youth and Sport and put it to rest. Okay. And we, of course, we support, we know our support is behind the Lions. There's nothing that uh, I would need to emphasize on that. So we wish that the Lions will continue to do their best and that the Lions will stay out of what is going on within Fekal Food and the Ministry. Okay, uh, Mr. Andiwum, we also would want to get your first reaction after that resounding uh, victory over Cameroon. Yes, <clears throat> you know Cameroonians love football. Cameroon is endowed with a lot of football talents, and everybody in Cameroon is a player, including those who have, cannot run in the field. So everybody has a right to make a comment. Uh, it was a welcome victory because. We have known Cameroon, the Cameroon team, the Lions, for a while to be that team that nobody that does not inspire confidence in Cameroonians. For some time, it has been a team that some people even describe that if you are a, a, a hypertensive uh, patient, you should not dare watch their matches because at one point we always ended up being disappointed. So their victory was salutary. My problem with the victory of Cameroon is that I am seeing more of a score settling victory. You cannot imagine a victory that every Cameroonian should be glad of it. People are now using it to bash one individual. And the worst of it is that it is coming more from politicians. The same politicians we have been asking for a very long time to harness their energy, come together form a coalition and defeat the man who has put Cameroon where it is today. That man is in it today. I never knew that for once in this country, CPDM, SDF, PAP, CRM can coalite together to fight one individual. And unfortunately, this thing has exposed the opposition to me so much. Because those people who have carried this thing on their heat, morning, afternoon, evening, and politicians, which is not telling well for the political uh, climate of this country. I'm happy that the Cameroon is here and he holds uh, a juicy position in his party, which I think some of his comrades that have watched and what they have said with their mouth on television, including the CBDM, the BAB, the SDA, bashing one man, they are off track. So I'm taking this opportunity to call them to trap. That said, those people who have equally used this, uh, this victory to say that Samuel Do has represented or has done nothing to Cameroon as far as football is concerned, it's, it's very sad that Cameroon have a very short memory. Uh, at a very tender age, when I watched the Sydney in 2000, I quite remember that Cameroon was down by two goals. And the person who contributed for the leverage of that match to leave from two goals down back to two goals draw and he finally ended up with a victory was Samuel too. So I don't understand. It, 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 it's becoming like some kind of wish hunting. Of which I don't understand. Coming again from the youth, it's very sad. It's disappointing. We saw in confederation. I don't know why Cameroonians easily forget. The good, the good of history to capitalize all the weaknesses of today. We are all humans. We, we, are, I mean, we can agree that he has some lapses in his material skills, which is why that is why he's working alone. He has a team to work with. When, for those, I want to refer to the memory of those who were the confederation in 
against Brazil that took Cameroon to the final of the confederation. That immediately this match ever Cameroon and I say a good portion of Cameroonians came out clear that they won because it was not the one directly managed it. That is Cameroon as fast as possible. I think the game of the final slowly we played he scored at the finals. Yeah, of course. Mm. So I, I just want to refresh the memory of Cameroonians that in as much as we love football, we should not take this victory as a score settling victory. Yet, I am happy about the victory, but it's not the end of the qualification. We are not, we have not reached the end. Cameroon has not yet qualified for the World Cup because there's a match tomorrow. And I know Cameroonians, these very Cameroonians. They were against a two years today because Cape Verde was down, beaten by Cameroon. Don't be surprised if they turn against Mark Bridge tomorrow, if Angola beats Cameroon, which is not my prayer. But then we should be objective. This is a man who has decided to give back Cameroon to Cameroon football what was missing. He has his flaws. I have never been his fan. That one thing, everybody who knows, I've never been his fan. But let's be objective at this point. Don't kill a man for nothing. He's just struggling to do his job. He has good intentions for the Cameroon Football Federation. Can we then be objective in our talking against an individual? That to me, I don't even see. I, that why uh, the, the first day you called me for this day, I told you that I had a, 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 an impression that it was a game of distraction. Since 2025 is coming up. See, there are two, they, this is a fight between good friends of the same family. And it could be that somebody somewhere is drawing the rope, helping them to distract Cameroonians, so that 2025 takes us again by surprise. But Cameroonians today, their eyes are more open. Keep registering. Don't ask whom you shall vote. For that time will come, and we shall discover who to vote. Thank you. Okay, we have just been joined by Mr. Elvis Tiagi. Oui, oui, oui. Uh, happy to have you on uh, Prime R to discuss on this issue so far as sport. Yes, um, how, what is your impression on uh, the atmosphere prevailing around the Lions uh, today? Oui, uh, je voudrais dire bonsoir aux nombreux auditeurs, uh, autant pour moi aux nombreux téléspectateurs du de, de, de média. Uh, je voudrais simplement dire que à écouter les co-panélistes autour de cette table. Je suis un tout petit peu débutatif par rapport à, à, à leur réaction. Pourquoi Parce que euh, généralement, on a tendance à prendre le problème des lions de table comme étant celui d'un individu ou des individus. Il faudrait qu'on mette le problème des individus de côté et qu'on parle franchement de l'équipe des lions d'un homme table. Okay. Pourquoi Parce que tout le temps qu'on voudrait parler des lions d'un homme table et qu'on va vouloir, on va devoir parler du président de la Fédération Camerounaise de Football, alors il y aura un grand, un grand décalage entre les réalités d'un président de la Fédération par rapport aux joueurs. Indéniablement, lorsqu'on parle du joueur, on n'aura pas meilleur joueur que l'ancien joueur de l'équipe nationale et l'ancien capitaine de l'équipe nationale des Lions d'un homme table. Ça, c'est indéniable. Il faudrait peut-être que l'Afrique compte encore 100 ans pour avoir ce genre de joueur. Maintenant, quand on part sur le, quand on part sur le plan du managériat, il faudrait se dire qu'il y a beaucoup de choses à revoir parce que aujourd'hui, l'exécutif qui opère au niveau de la Fédération Camerounaise de Football, franchement, ne nous a pas montré très grand-chose. Prenons le cas du championnat, le championnat du Cameroun. On a comme l'impression que Lorsqu'on parle du football camerounais, on ne parlera que des lions et table. La qualité du championnat, la qualité du, des joueurs qui découlent de ce championnat, on peut se poser des questions quand même. Il faudrait se rappeler qu'il y a exactement quatre ans de cela encore, on avait un club camerounais, le Coton Sport de Gawa, qui se retrouvait au niveau des demi-finales d'une Coupe d'Afrique. Mais le même Coton Sport aujourd'hui n'arrive même pas à traverser le niveau des préliminaires. Donc il y a un problème qui se pose. Maintenant, au regard de ce qui est en train de se passer autour des lions de table, il ne faudrait pas jeter la pierre à un seul, dans un seul camp. 
Moi, je pense que les deux administrations, c'est-à-dire le ministère de l'Éducation physique et des sports et la Fédération camerounaise de football, devraient se dire un moment, il vaut mieux mettre devant, il vaut mieux mettre, n'est-ce pas, en exergue le patriotisme et surtout la victoire des lions innommables. Que rechercherait-on à ce que les lions ne soient pas qualifiés Lorsque mon prédécesseur sur cette table a parlé, il était un tout petit peu craintif par rapport au match contre l'Angola. Je peux le comprendre. Pourquoi Parce que l'atmosphère qui règne actuellement à Luanda n'est pas une atmosphère, n'est-ce pas, de, 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 de la gagne, quoi. C'est plutôt une atmosphère de, de, du désordre, de la dichotomie, de la mésentente, mmh. de tout ce que cela peut comporter comme euh, euh, mauvais résultat. Cela dit, le nouvel entraîneur des Lions de Lomtable l'a rappelé après le match contre le Cap Vert. Il a dit qu'il n'était pas venu au Cameroun dans le cadre de la politique, mais plutôt dans le cadre du sport et qu'il n'est venu ici que pour faire son job. Mmh. Malheureusement, ceux qui avaient les oreilles pour comprendre feignent de ne pas le comprendre et continuent, n'est-ce pas, ces guéguerres inutiles au lieu de se concentrer sur la qualité des résultats on a comme l'impression qu'ils se concentrent sur la qualité de leur personnalité, sur la qualité des égaux qu'ils peuvent avoir. Je le dis bien, tant du côté du ministère que du côté de la Fédération Camerounaise de football, il y a beaucoup de choses à revoir sur les comportements des uns et des autres. Il faudrait mettre au devant plutôt la qualité des joueurs que l'on doit avoir sur le terrain et la qualité des encadreurs que doivent avoir cette équipe nationale du Cameroun. Parce que lorsqu'on parle... Tout à l'heure, mon prédécesseur a dit aussi que très vite, les Camerounais oublient. Certes, mais les Camerounais de nature, nous sommes des gens qui n'oublions pas, mais qui faisons plutôt des fois de la mauvaise foi pour venir à bout de ceux-là qui ont un ego surdimensionné. Ça, 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 ça nous revient. Mm -hmm. Moi-même qui parle autour de cette table, je sais que nous avons cette euh, mauvaise manie là, n'est-ce pas, de vouloir feindre des fois pour ne pas comprendre comment est-ce que les, les, les choses se sont faites. Vous avez voulu parler de, du président de la fédération en tant que footballeur. Non. Ne parlons plus du footballeur. Ça, c'est du passé. C'est du passé. On ne peut pas construire, certes, le présent sans parler du passé, mais on peut faire le futur en s'appuyant sur le présent. Est-ce que ces lions innommables de hier ont la même valeur que ceux d'aujourd'hui. Est-ce qu'on ne peut pas constater que les Lions de Nantes sortent d'une Coupe d'Afrique foireuse et que maintenant une victoire pour nous égale la qualité de l'adversaire en face n'est que la bienvenue Parce que nous, nous avons soif de victoire. Nous ne voulons plus de défaite. On en a assez eu comme ça. Il y a eu une période où, lorsqu'on disait que le Cameroun allait jouer contre n'importe laquelle des équipes en Afrique, nous n'avions pas peur. On y allait sans sans avoir la moindre crainte, sans se dire est-ce que véritablement nous aurons la valeur et la capacité d'affronter ces équipes. Aujourd'hui, tel, tel n'est plus le cas. Pourquoi Parce que le désordre a fait son nid et l'administration est en train d'être mal faite autour de cette équipe nationale qui pourtant peut être encore une grande équipe nationale et qui pourtant a encore de la valeur. Ok, qui a encore de la valeur uh, Kangaruman You heard what he is saying. Now, how do we keep politics out of this and focus on uh, the game? Because as we speak, we have two uh, technical teams, that for Mincep and that of uh, Africa Food. But seemingly, when they meet themselves, eh, when you see them trying to work together, I don't know, where is, where is all of this animosity com uh, coming from? Because even at uh, the stadium in Yaoundé, we saw they came together and they greeted each other. Well, to me, I know that um, it's a ping-pong game they are playing. Uh, <laughs> first, there's an aspect of interest. Mm -hmm. As I said earlier, the ministry is supposed to be called Ministry of Football. I'm not Minister of Sport and Physical Education. Because why is the minister so interested with the issue of football and it is at the level of appointing officials? Parce la jungle dedans. Okay. So when we find it like that, as I said, a tour on his part is just doing what he's supposed to do. Okay. Because 
normally football is under football that is governed under FIFA rules is supposed to be manned under FECA food. Let me keep it to understand just like what my brother is saying that well, we They take to their family members the other one they take then they fly back home we are talking about glory to the nation but do we give glory to the nation which is correct when the nation is not at peace how do we explain we are talking about victory media themselves are the ones who have to share that agenda because the real things that are happening media has not really been media now is 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 mean set mean set fake food now it told yeah i'm done so if we look at it critically like what mr leo is asking i will tell you that the problem is an aspect of interest as i said there are not two things while on the part of it is to this money but it problem is that he wants to see how he can manage even if he's managing with errors we can we said we know that there's there's no perfect human being but eskila dan son droit Si c'est comme ça, ça veut dire qu'il fait son travail pour le moment. Pourquoi on ne lui laisse pas travailler C'est ça le problème. Est-ce qu'avant, c'était Minsep qui dirigeait toutes ces choses concernant le football Non. Mais pourquoi cette fois-ci, c'est Minsep qui arrive So, we are looking at it now. No, What but, but is the problem, law But the problem is that if, yep. if the government discovers that yep. something is not going right, yep. is, it, is it wrong for the government to say that, no, please... Now, no, I'm, no, 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 no. Let, let, let me the come in. The, the, is headed by the president. The issue the is that mm -hmm. we have realized that for the past, the national team has not been able to do well because politics was inside. Yes. We also know that for the past, teams have not been able to do well, even level of the regions in the league, because sometimes politics infiltrates. If you get the wahala between one of the vice president, full vice president Jalakwan, and Eto, you get that is an aspect of interest when somewhere along the line, and then some few politicians took advantage of that they fueled the crisis and all the like so what are we saying if mark breeze who came in said he came but for professional reasons football and not for politics he is right but what controls football in cameroon is politics that is why you will not cannot explain to me that for things to happen the instruction comes from the head of state we understand last time that the appointment of uh song and the rest of the team it was visited by the presidency now, are we saying that the federation that was supposed to do that, for example, does not have that competence? That's what we're saying. So, at the end of it, the presidency that constitutes the part of the government, the fake food that constitutes part of the federation, the physical education that constitutes part of the government with double wahala, all have come together and spoiled the whole thing. That's why I keep asking this thing. When I see people jubilating, I ask myself, it could be out of patriotism, as I said. Yeah, but it's, it's also uh, normal. Yeah, but football is also but, part of entertainment. Are yes. you saying that when you go to a bar and I play music, you don't dance? No, this is what I'm saying, Mr. Liu. Yeah, yeah. I've given clean analysis here. Mm -hmm. The concept of entertainment moves well for the man who has basic things at a particular level. Mm -hmm. That is why we talk about European League. The stadium is full to capacity. Because people think that this is a time they have to go and relax. First, they have made their money during the day. They don't sleep hunger. You understand they have basic necessities because europe and america have gone past that level where they are still fighting for basic amenities like health facilities portable water poor road they have passed that level that's why they even have other developed spots like you have this spot by that runs on rough hills you know rough terrain they have all kinds of spots people are swimming in water because they have passed that level that none is just to entertain themselves because they've arrived at the particular hole now what i'm saying is that for cameroon when you see i say that this football issue is distraction. It's because I know that where we are, we have plaguing issues. You, I ask myself, Mr. Lowe, just like myself, how do I shout in a bar morning to night when I am getting back home, I, my wife has not eaten, or my children have not eaten? We don't even know we eat the next day. But we argue in a bar until we're involved in a fight. So maybe I have sustained an injury on the head. I have to go to the hospital. Why those guys are working their bodies? And what gets me angry? 
If you go to the uh, those of you uh, we watch the European League, what happens that most of those players are philanthropists? If you want to go to the history of Ronaldo and the rest, they have done something back in their country. That is, they develop the, the, the that's their money that they get helps develop the economy of the country. So if I see that kind of thing, I will tell you that I can fully support because at the end of the day, there's money that can come in to say, let us start the road from the Bumbari to all up areas in Sanaga. That is correct. But the moment, as I said, that's why I like my brother was here. I will need somebody to tell me that Singh will start winning. Whether it is USA or it's which day 90, this money that came in, this is the accountability. It was used to build a health center in Gunoko. It was used to build a school in Germanduka. It was used to arrange a road between Bifang and Benakuma. When I hear those grammar, I know that the sport is helping. If not, it is a distraction because how much is the government coughing up? The hotel bills have been paid. How much is the government coughing up for that? And all of this mobilizing extra resources yeah, to maybe, make sure maybe, they keep maybe, it. Maybe it's because the government is putting in so much money that also they want to see that the money is uh, judiciously used and they want results. No, it is not just results, Mr. Liu. If they are putting so much money, there should be something they are expecting at the background. Yeah. But, uh, because we, yeah. if you tell me, if this country was for sport, Olympia would have been finished a long. Let us say that if the guys meant business that they want to promote football in the country, Olympia would have been finished. The hotel I hear is there that I've never seen. Should have been finished until we would have even gone to, to, to even sports journalists who have gone there to sleep there. But now we don't get those things. So at the end of it, we are here in Douala. Look at the potholes. Take um, Douala Limbe. When we had the feminine the car that was coming, the roads were only repaired temporarily. After that, the potholes have been surfaced back. It means they were deceiving some people. At the entrance of the stadium in Limbe, the main stadium, there's a pothole there as I speak now. And as I speak now. A very large pothole. And then you take that road now to Egypt now, that stretch of road. It is terrible. And we are calling ourselves a, 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 a football nation where we are not seeing any fallout. It is a distraction. Okay. When you come to the national team, as I talking to Mr. Leo, what gets me disturbed? When I say that this country is run on a kangaroo mechanism. If we talk about national unity, as we as somebody, somebody said here that football is a unifying factor. One of our head level parents here. I don't see it that way. Because a unifying factor. Fake food mechanism. How, go, how much anglophones are there? Let me be serious. Let us talk grammar now. Football is based on how many of them? Football. So are you telling me anglophones are not competent? <laughs> anglophones are not competent to man fake food? <laughs> no. In the national team itself, how many anglophones are there? This thing is French team. Let me tell you, because I'm getting worried now. One. No, uh, 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 Only that tell me we are not competent, Mr. Liu. If you say we are not competent, tell me, Aruna, we are not competent to manage those man. things. Please, please. Those please. things matter. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Those things matter. We are talking about mobilizing. We for... are fighting the shadow when the real subject so matter is there. Thank you, sir. Kangaroo, we we'll talk politics. We'll, we'll get, we are talking sports here. Yeah. Yes, uh, Mr. Uh, Tazi, the issue here is uh, there are two camps and the players are there how do we get the players to remain truly neutral and not to get involved in what is happening around them mr kum i think that is nearly impossible because those pl those players are human beings mm -hmm. i said it before that let this victory of kevet not distract us and we think that the problem is solved that mm -hmm. is i was also answering your question beforehand mm -hmm. because with this victory Kenyans can be attracted to the victory. Then the administration takes the, sees, the, sees the opportunity and sit down, get the minister and fake a food and sort that thing out and draw the line. Let everybody know his responsibility. If we are distracted by this victory, I will feel that it is solved. My brother just mentioned that even now in Rwanda, they are in camps. And being in camps, some people, some of those players must support fake a food chairman, whether they like it or not, and others must support the minister. And with that, with that division, they cannot work as a team. The determination will be broken somewhere, somehow. No matter, their morale will be broken somewhere, somehow, no matter what they do. So, for me, the way forward is to solve this problem. I would have suggested, I wish some of these people could listen to advice. My advice would be that this is the right time for that problem between the person of Africa food and the minister to sit down, get these three documents, the constitution of Cameroon, the convention between Africa food. And the and the ministry and the FIFA yeah, but, law but and FIFA, put them together and draw the line. Wait, yeah, Mr. But FIFA already suggested that as soon as possible they should go and fix that. When FIFA wrote, uh, FIFA wrote to FIFA, the uh, FIFA wrote back that they should go and make sure that the convention is worked on. Yes, I'm saying that. Have they done that? I'm saying that we should not be distracted by this victory. 
so that they don't do the assignment. Okay. Then one thing I want to add again is that, you see, there's something that a lot of communities cannot understand. There's a saying, there's a proverb that says, until you wear shoes, you don't know where those shoes are pinching you. Uh, the president of Africa Food has been an international footballer, played in Europe, suffered from racist attacks all over. He knows what it means when a black man excels in the midst of these Europeans. This, and this is why I can understand him well, because I happen to have gone through this route in life, not as a footballer, but as a, a career professional. I understand if I were in the shoes of it, too, I would never hire a European coach to coach a team of Cameroon. Why? Why? I like that question. Mm. If you look at international football, including European League, if you look at the Africans, what they have done in European football, it's very remarkable. You, I mean, you start listening to African stars, you cannot even, you will be surprised. Can you tell me, Mr. Leo, you are a renowned journalist? Do you know any European national team that is coached by an African? Is it that African footballers are incompetent to serve their coaches? No, they are not. The Europeans know that they are very competent, but they are not going to give you the opportunity. I mean, if that's why, some of us cannot understand. Because it was being these shoes. When it was preferred song, I could understand. Until you wear that shoe, you don't understand. Yeah, but, so at but, times, yeah, at times, yeah, yeah, but the European is here. He has given us victory. No, no, no. Forget about that sort of victory. victory. That, let's, let's watch what's happened. If they don't resolve that problem, if they don't resolve that problem, it is not only a, Europe, a Cameroonian, or oh, worst case scenario, another African will give us better victory, Mr. Liu, if the field is made to work. The truth is that there's something coming. Mr. Liu, you may have forgotten. The day it was voted as president of Fikafu were in this studio. And I said something. I said, if the environment will begin for him to work, Oui, on a des équipes euh, en Angola. Et puis, euh, qu -ce que, parce que je, je, je l'ai demandé, comment est-ce qu'on fait pour que les joueurs ne soient pas impactés par ce qui se passe là Na, Naturellement, c'est assez compliqué. C'est assez compliqué et assez complexe. Pourquoi Parce que euh, lorsqu'il y a deux staffs, deux staffs, n'est-ce pas Il faudrait que l'un des staffs puisse être celui qui accepte de se faire tout petit pour que les joueurs comprennent que de, parmi les deux staffs, il y en a un qui n'est là que parce qu'ils sont dans la contrainte d'être là. Mmh. Mais lorsque les deux staffs sont là à croire que ce sont les staffs les plus indiqués pour être là, c'est un problème. Ça, c'est un problème. Vous pouvez remarquer, hein, avant le match contre le Cap Vert, le stage a été mené par l'un des, des staffs, mais le jour du match... Il ne faudrait jamais oublier que le jour du match, l'entraîneur a fini, n'est-ce pas, par dire « je ne voudrais aucun des adjoints choisis ». Parce que c'est lui qui doit remplir la feuille de match. Et dans sa feuille de match, il peut inscrire le nom de ses adjoints. Il a préféré inscrire le nom de Mununga, avec lequel ils sont partis depuis la Belgique. Maintenant, je ne serais pas d'accord qu'on essaye, n'est-ce pas, de toujours penser que euh, c'est parce que la fédération n'a pas les mains libres qu'elle n'arrive pas à réussir. Ça, il euh, y a quand même quelque chose. Parce que au niveau de la fédération, il faudrait se rappeler que la nomination de Rigobertson avait été faite de la même façon. Il faudrait se rappeler que celui qui gère la fédération camerounaise de football aujourd'hui, hier, était d'accord, il était tout d'accord de dire que c'est la présidence de la République qui va mettre sur pied, n'est-ce pas, un staff des lions et nomtables. Ça, il le disait. Il est allé jusqu'à dire un moment que le ministère ne peut pas gérer l'administration des lions indomptables A ah, et qu'il n'y a que la présidence pour gérer cela. Il a aussi dit que le ministère peut gérer. En même temps, il dit le ministère ne peut pas gérer. En même temps, il a aussi dit il n'y a que le ministère pour gérer. C'est-à-dire que lorsque ça plaisait, on prenait, n'est-ce pas, le, le camp dans lequel on estimait que ça faisait ses affaires et on rejetait l'autre camp. Aujourd'hui, 
que la situation se pose. Encore que lorsqu'on parle du ministre actuel des Sports, nous ne pouvons pas être là pour le défendre, mais nous avons vécu les faits. Vous savez, nous les journalistes, pour nous, les faits sont têtus et sacrés. Il faudrait qu'on rappelle à ceux qui nous regardent derrière leurs petits écrans que ce ministre des Sports n'a fait que rentrer dans la danse. Il n'a fait que rentrer dans la danse. Que ce soit pour le problème du stade, dont parlait euh, mon copanéliste tout à l'heure, que ce soit pour les lions indomptables même. Parce que la question c'est, est-il devenu, on a comme l'impression qu'il est devenu le ministre du football. Ce n'est pas la première fois. On a plutôt l'impression que le gouvernement ne reconnaît que le football comme sport. Parce que si le président de la République vient à prendre tout un paragraphe dans un discours officiel à la jeunesse camerounaise, à parler du football, à parler de l'administration du football, ça veut dire que quelque part, le gouvernement reconnaît que le football est un sport majeur. Contrairement à ce qu'on nous a fait croire pendant longtemps, qu'au Cameroun, il n'y avait pas de sport majeur ni de sport réservé. Là, vrai, véritablement, le football est un sport majeur et c'est un sport réservé. Pourquoi Parce qu'on ne peut pas comprendre que pendant que le volleyball ou bien le handball ou encore l'haltérophilie ne fonctionne pas normalement, on ne parle que du football. Mais maintenant, pour revenir sur l'organisation de ce football, il est temps que ceux qui étaient là hier, parce qu'en réalité, dans le domaine du sport, on dit on ne change pas l'équipe qui gagne. On ne change pas l'équipe qui gagne mais on change l'équipe qui perd. Donc il faudrait bien que les, les uns et les autres comprennent que nous n'avons pas bien fait une belle Coupe d'Afrique et que cette équipe peut être changée. Essayons de voir au combien mais on peut évoluer. Si on doit changer, qu'est-ce qu'on change C'est l'équipe nationale qu'on change ou c'est la fédération qu'on change Voilà, c'est l'équipe technique, comme okay. il est en train de dire. Mmh. C'est d'abord l'équipe technique. Mmh. Pourquoi Parce que, contrairement à ce qu'on ne sait pas, c'est que lorsqu'une équipe gagne, ce sont les joueurs sur le terrain. Et lorsque lorsque l'équipe perd, on a tendance à voir l'ensemble de l'équipe technique autour de l'équipe. On ne parle pas très souvent des joueurs, on parle de l'équipe technique. Mais j'ai aussi un tout petit peu fait grise mine au moment où on disait « Est-ce que les Africains peuvent être des dirigeants des clubs en Europe ?» Il faudrait se rappeler une chose, c'est que depuis que nous parlons du football au Cameroun, et que le Cameroun est l'une des meilleures nations, au niveau continental, a eu des meilleurs joueurs au niveau mondial, nous n'avons pas mis sur pied même des écoles d'entraîneurs de football. Parce qu'ici, nous n'avons pas d'école d'entraîneurs de football qui existe. Contrairement à ce qu'on ne sait pas. On n'a aucune école d'entraîneurs de football. On a, des, on a des centres de formation des entraîneurs. On a des sessions de formation des entraîneurs. Pourquoi n'avoir pas mis sur pied Pourquoi aucun pays en Afrique ne met sur pied une grande école des entraîneurs de football pour qu'on dise que oui, nous avons des grands, football, des grands entraîneurs qui sont sortis d'une grande école en Afrique. Par exemple, pourquoi les Africains vont toujours tenir à aller vers l'Europe pour se faire former comme grands entraîneurs Pourquoi Alors que nous avons tout pour, pour avoir... Nous savons très bien que nos équipes atteignent aujourd'hui les demi-finales d'une Coupe d'Afrique. Okay. Mais ah, on okay. ne rêve pas de former des grands entraîneurs pour pouvoir prendre Salut, les devants. He asked the question that he feels that we don't have African coaches coaching European uh, nations because we don't have training sessions. I said no. Those African players have enough money to pay training schools in Europe and coach yeah. those teams, but they don't have the opportunity. They, they are not given to them. They have the money to pay. Go to those yeah. coach training schools in Europe and pay the fees. And but they do that. Nobody employ. Nobody employ them out there. This is the truth. Sorry for interruption. Okay. Oui. Yes. Uh, mais, mais, mais je voudrais, je, je voudrais quand même dire un mot parce que autant ils sortent de ces écoles là en Europe. Autant ils ne partent pas. Montrez-moi un entraîneur africain qui a voulu entraîner en Europe et on lui a dit non. Si vous remarquez bien, lorsqu'ils partent en Europe, leur tendance est toujours de revenir vers l'Afrique. Même lorsqu'ils même, même lorsqu ont de la valeur, ils veulent toujours revenir vers l'Afrique. Okay. Ils n'essayent même pas de vouloir entraîner des clubs européens. Mais on aussi that um, we saw a team that seems to be, I don't know, the fighting spirit came back. A fighting spirit that has uh, been missing for a very long time. Um, the woman, did you have that impression? Yes. Why not? You know, they always say um, an orphan that knows that is an orphan fights with the last energy to survive. Okay. Uh, and I want to think that 
the the boys who played against Cape Verde knew very well that there was division in their house and for them to cover up the division they needed a victory for them to to prove to the world that they're not part of the politics because after everything i agree with uh, kangaroman what is happening in yaoundé is politics in football and it is giving us a clear image of how Cameroon has been managed for a very long time we are talking about Fekafood and Minsep today, forgetting to know that all the disorder there is coming from a particular word, O instruction, high instructions. And this is the other. I was told that they already scored. But when I watched the match, I saw a team that played so well, with one spirit, with collaboration, even in the absence of those at the <laughs> technical pitch. That's why I say an orphan that knows that is an orphan, when he's going for hunting, the orphan goes with all his hunting equipment. But Coming back to what uh, my co-panelist said a while ago, what is happening in Angola is telling Cameroonians that the fight is far from being over. But the fight to me now is no longer a serious fight. The fight to me as an individual has become a childish fight. Because remember the first day I was in this studio to talk about this. I told you that I expressed my dissatisfaction talking about football in Cameroon. Because I've not really seen what it's brought, it has brought. But since it concerns us Cameroonians, we are bound to talk about it. What is costing the Minister of Sports to call the President of Fekafu and say, look, my son, come. There has been a misunderstanding. Can we sit and talk? The culture of talking to each other has disappeared in Cameroon. And what is emerging is the culture of pride, the culture of the bossy culture, arrogance. I am the boss. And you see Cameroonians clapping from behind, pushing. No, who is a toe? The state cannot go down to that level to talk to Fekafood food president. Who is losing? The image of Cameroon is hanging. The image of Cameroon is in danger. We are glad that Cameroon won, but the war has continued. We are not talking about ways to live that still made and look at the real thing. But we are talking about who is winning. Today is the, 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 the claim that has been said who won. But I think that match was won by Cameroonians. It was not fake food. It was not been said. And my humble suggestion from the one has been that a father remains a father. If a prodigal son could be accepted, I put it in quote. Let's consider that Minsep has all the power. Can Minsep add some wisdom to his power and put it right? Like we have been crying that President Bia should stop the Anglophone crisis because he has the yam and the knife. It is not because we do not know there are some actors still in Norway and Southwest whose voices count. They count. But we have a super voice. We have a superior voice. That should count more than those voices. Then, if something finally goes wrong with the Cameroon football, one person. Sir, a quick one before I take the microphone. To think that a Cameroonian or Africans cannot coach a white man country, a white man team, because we lack 
what it takes is force. The, 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 the people who practice the highest racism in the world are in Europe. I'm sorry to say so. That's the truth. That's the raw truth. And I agree with Mr. Tazi when he says he that Eto has failed the pinch of this racism and that is why he thinks that he should protect his home. Yes. So we are qualified. Nobody's why is it that we are not only qualified to coach European teams, but we are qualified to be yeah, big win. to play, play and win, win football for them? For them. <laughs> why is it that we are not qualified to come out as first class coaches there? But we are qualified to win trophies okay. and win Ballon d'Or. Yeah, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure he has said that we are not qualified. He, I say he, he said it. He, he, said, he, he, he said, said. He said. He said no. We go acquire those things, and then we. The first thing to do is we want to come back. We don't. Uh, we don't uh, do. No, he work. said he would testify because they he understand the system. Now, he made it clear, Mister. Des opportunités. Je dis bien combien d'entraîneurs africains. Il ne faudrait pas oublier l'histoire du football africain. Vous avez oublié qu'en 2010, l'Afrique du Sud a organisé une Coupe du Monde. La première Coupe du Monde en Afrique. Avant que cette Afrique du Sud n'organise une Coupe du Monde à domicile, les clubs sud-africains atteignaient les finales de Coupe d'Afrique. Tout au moins. Mais depuis que la Coupe du Monde s'est jouée en Afrique du Sud, on a comme l'impression plutôt que le football a régressé complètement de ce côté-là. Un football où on avait des grands clubs comme les Melody Sundance, comme euh, euh, les Orlando Pirates, et ainsi, et ainsi de suite, et ainsi de suite. Ces clubs-là aujourd'hui sont presque inexistants. Pourquoi Parce que nous aimons, nous, Africains, nous avons tendance à avoir un complexe face à l'Européen. C'est un complexe que nous avons naturellement. Il ne faudrait pas se le cacher. On a de, de grands footballeurs, vous, 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 vous le dites si bien, on a eu de très grands footballeurs qui par la suite sont allés dans de très grandes écoles pour être formés comme entraîneurs, mais qui ne le démontrent pas. Ils n'ont pas le temps de le démontrer en Europe où les choses sont mises normalement. Pourquoi Parce que, je vous ai dit de nature, nous nous aimons tout ce qui est désordonné. Principalement nous, they Camerounais. Et ils ne, cherchent, ils ne cherchent rien du côté de l'Afrique. Mm -hmm. Dès qu'on aura un entraîneur, Rigobert Son, pourquoi il croise les bras Pourquoi ne peut-il pas se retrouver du côté du Togo, du Mali, de la Côte d'Ivoire pour essayer de rester hein? Donc, pour lui, ça s'arrête là avec les lions dans le table Non. Okay. C'est un ah. entraîneur, c'est un grand entraîneur, comme vous êtes en train de le dire. Okay. Uh, Alors qu'il continue. Greetings, house. I hope all man they okay. Please, anyone who's uh, okay. Uh, good evening, Mr. Liu, and your wonderful panelists. Uh, the, uh, the guy says uh, the same way that uh, Mark Brice was appointed is the same way Rico Besson was appointed and that Etofis was okay with the way Rico Besson was appointed. Now I ask him, if Rico Besson was appointed in the wrong way, should we continue going the wrong way? He seems uh, to say two wrongs uh, can make a right. Paul N. is writing from uh, Yaoundé. Good evening to you, uh, Paul N. Uh, good evening, my media prime TV. Okay, you say we can't hear. Uh, you since uh, the start of the program. I don't know where you are. Looks like there is a town that has a volume uh, pro problem. Just uh, indicate where you are, please. Good evening, Mr. Leo. Please, uh, my regards to the kangaroo man. Mr. Leo, uh, we can't uh, really celebrate this victory or more to come because in Bermuda we can't watch uh, much even at home because of the fear of the unknown. One part of the country enjoying while another and others are like refugees in their own land. Chinua is writing from uh, Bamenda. Good evening to you, uh, Chinua. Uh, good evening, Mr. Kum. I am Tim Yu Elias writing from Baili in Kwen in Bamenda. I love your program. And my wish is that Cameroon should either come back with one or three points. Once more, thank you for the good work. Thank you uh, very much. Um, uh, good evening, Mr. Liu and the team. Big salute to the kangaroo man. The crisis in the national team is a true reflection of what Cameroon is. We are not uh, able to solve very simple problems. Uh, my dear Mr. Liu, uh, do not forget that the Olympic Cup in 2003 was not won with 
without a foreign, with a foreign coach. The fact that Song did not deliver does not mean we do not have uh, coaches. Jacob is writing from Bamenda. Good evening to you, uh, Jacob. Good evening to you in the studio. Matthias is writing from Limbe. Truly, there should be no sign of jubilation as far as uh, football is concerned in this country because, as the kangaroo man rightly said, uh, there has never been any statistics that money uh, came in out of football and they are going uh, to use uh, for the development of uh, the country. But rather, you will only see the celebration but no financial statistics in that area. Since I was born, in this country 1984 to date you yourself have come here or seen before which means that uh we are facing now is crisis stated a long time ago okay um okay not too clear good evening mr Liu and prince will from amanda uh that man has gone straight to the point what he said is uh, very uh true uh, good evening. Okay, issue with sound uh, there again. Uh, good evening, Mr. Liu, uh, to the entire panelists on board. Especially greetings to the kangaroo man. I am from Derek, writing Iboa, writing from Yaoundé. The Lions won yesterday, but the price of uh, a kilogram of meat has not fallen. We won African Cups of Nations here. Yeah? I didn't see how it increased our national wealth. Football in Cameroon is used as a national weapon by the government to distract citizens from the emblematic failure of the governance in all sectors of the economy and institutions. A win or loss doesn't add any food on the tables of citizens who are in desperate need of national development and sustainability of uh, their standards of living. In fact, a football is a political weapon being used by the powers that be year in, year out to calm the nerves of desperate Cameroonians. This, strat this strategy has been working for years and it is still working now. Football is the magic touch of the government uh, being used. Okay. Um, good evening to you watching us uh, from uh, Limbe. Good evening to you all in the studio. Um, Amy writing from Yaoundé Mfu. To me, the fight uh, in Cameroon over football is useless to me because there are a lot of things in Cameroon to fight over. When we won the African Cup of Nations in 2017, prices of everything increased. And after 2021, African Cup of Nations that uh, Cameroon hosted, prices for everything increased. Then tell me how this football thing is helping us, okay? Uh, good evening, Mr. Liu. Elvis is misinterpreting the questions. Please help me ask him uh, this question. Does he not entertain himself with music in his house because there are no good jobs in Cameroon. Mr. Densman for is writing from Yaoundé. Okay, um, good evening, Mr. Liu. We discovered that uh, the quarrel between Faker Food and Minsep has given the coach the opportunity to do his selection free from influence from authorities. They were authorities uh, were distracting. Uh, by the quarrel. Okay, my opinion is that let politicians leave football to experts and continue with their motions of support and high instructions. Uh, Ignatius is writing from uh, Douala here. Uh, good evening to you, Ignatius. Yes, but um, with, do you also see like him that the coach need a free hand to do his job and the players, the team needs some level of independence? Well, it is quite true that they are supposed to they are supposed to have some degree of independence. Mm. But as I said, where there's an interest, the, the, the free hand will not be there. Because um, most of the times, somebody will tell you that if Faker Food was auto financing itself, surely the government would not have been having a, a hand in it. So probably the government coming into because they think that they are removing billions. I mean, billions. Come on, yes, you don't know how much is coming out there from government's coffers for football. As you, you don't mind talking this grammar like that. If they give you the figures, you will sit and then when you imagine a woman who dies at the hospital because she could not foot hospital bills, you will know that even just a jubilation means that you're also having that woman to die. So the, the, the issue here is that the government has, uh, because all of them have rights, but the question is, what does the text say? Hey. That's what they have not been able to tell us. What does it take? There are fake food texts that tells you that this is the role of the ministry. And this is the role of the federation. Why are we throwing that away? Nobody is telling us about that grammar. That's why I said that there is a ping-pong game of interest in it. Mr. Liu, 
a delegate of Sport African Education was killed in Donga, was, was, was from Bui. Was, was, was killed around uh, the uh, on the way that is between Bamenda and uh, uh, and 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 Kambe. And Kambe. Mm -hmm. That's why I say media themselves have helped to spoil this issue because a delegate for sport of physical education was killed. The minister has not given any word of condolence to the bereaved family, he's busy fighting over this morning. Is this not witchcraft in body life that a man who takes all odds? To go and work in his station in uh, in, in Dongamandu, only to be gone down, and there is no word from state officials. They are busy fighting over money. God will forgive these guys from Yaounde. And the matter now gets that you hear only the amount of money they are, they are arguing over, uh, prim the match, prim the this, and all the like. You start asking yourself, but where are we heading to? I keep saying this thing. Somebody told me about if music, music, music in your house is different. Because we are talking about things that are distracting. Everybody can live with music. And even your music cannot disturb anybody because you can play it at home. You can use your headset. We are talking about things that affect the life of others. If football is affecting the coffers of the nation by coughing billions of francs saved into put in football and fight to cause disunity instead of unity. As I said, a panelist told us here, football is a unifying factor, which is true. But at the end of it, is it unifying us now? No. All more than two weeks, three weeks, media. They are, people are almost boxing on, on platforms. Eh? I mean, almost boxing. Some are not talking to others. If they, the other day we got uh, we got that um, there's a journalist who was attacked the other day because he spoke against Eto. Another one too who spoke for Eto was also attacked. So you get the point that the whole issue is becoming tense. We are leaving the subject matter and chasing the shadow. Those guys are working their money. At the end of the day, millions will enter their pockets. But me and my brother talking here. Avant, après tout ça, après avoir bavardé le matin jusqu'à le soir, qu'est-ce qu'on va manger C'est ça qui m'intéresse. Si on va rester finalement en famille, ça veut dire que ça ne nous sert à rien. We have road problems here in Douala, Douala 5. Nobody is telling us that the money they are coming to, they are going to get, it will be sent to get just gravels to put on that particular, nobody is telling us that grammar. I said, how can a delegate of that particular ministry die? Who is killed at Daba Hill? And nobody says anything. I said gunshot. Military officials have been killed. And nobody is saying anything like it's a subject matter. They will just wave it away and go. If sport and physical development minister, your staff dies on the field. You are not talking. We are busy transferring people from here for penalty measure because they support them, they support this one, and we tell them from uh, higher education in this area. Something is wrong with this country. Let us get back to the drawing board. Football is destruction. I don't care whether people are happy with me or not. Because at the end of the day, if I heard that the money they got from football, I and my brother, was sent to, to ask a subvention for fuel. He has a car, he knows what I'm talking about. That a liter, a, a liter, let's talk about even the normal funga that used to be cheap. That last day for 8,000 francs, something like 8,500. To hear that money that they won this tournament was used to subvent fuel. Now fuel has come down to 5,000 francs. I will support football, me. In fact, I will shout from here to tomorrow. Because when it's affecting that fuel reduction, other sectors in the economy are vibrant. That a liter of palm oil, I mean, uh, a liter of uh, ginger oil that used to sell at 800 francs, 900 francs, now it's selling at 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, I mean, uh, sorry, 1, 7. 1,700 1, francs. And people are jubilating on the road. Cameroonians are mad. They have lost their sense of focus. The, in fact, something's wrong with them. The things that are killing you, you're not seeing anybody from the football. You are shouting about patriotism. After do we eat patriotism? If I shout from now to tomorrow, hey, Lions, Lions, they will win. And then tomorrow, the next day, my child is unable to go to school. This, how much are we paying from Boya to Duala and back? The fellow, he knows what I'm talking about. And people are not looking at that focus. That's why I said, even the media to and help to, to, to deviate communities because we have a focus. Are you registering to unseat the regime that's making us suffer? Why is there confusion? Because nobody controls anything any longer. So everybody is fighting is, is for his own national cake. Mais si c'était comme à l'époque là, on a un président actif, il frappe le monde sur la table, bam, ça s'arrête, fini. Sinon l'affaire de l'État, mon à gauche, à droite, ministère à gauche, ça ne nous sert à rien. We call it distraction of the highest order. Cameroonians, we will go far, go far, we'll chop. Forget about this grammar. You will shout and shout and shout, lost calories. And the next time you need food to eat, where will you get that money to eat? When things are becoming more difficult, as someone told me that music can play music, even to listen to music, you need to eat. They are telling you if you are hungry, music itself will not sound well in your ears. 
when you are hungry, the music you love the most will be a nuisance to you. Because food is necessary for the stomach and for the well-being of mankind. So all these instructions I get on sports and all the like. We have said people should register. It is time to unseat the only regime. When you unseat them, the country is moving well. Equatorial Guinea is moving well. You think that the capital income. Far, far, far. We, are not, we are not talking politics here today. No, it is not the politics, sir. We are, we are not talking Should I shout football, football, football when I'm hungry? Wait, wait, wait. No! We, we, we no! <laughs> they should yes. do something. Yeah, but uh, this fight between Mincep and uh, Faker Food, is it not also being fueled by third parties? People who maybe just hate the minister and people who hate Eto, instead of uh, pushing for unity, everybody says, Minister, you are 100% correct others say it too you are 100 correct is that not where the bigger problem is and there are persons who are also already influencing the the, the players mincep vous encadre bien et tout est mauvais and then others will say no even vous said that is that not where the problem is mr leo i think you are getting very close to the problem mm. and uh my pro my brother here mentioned something which is related to that. i want to start from that mm. he said the current fekafu president was okay with the process through which the former coach was hired. Recover some. Yes, and now he's not okay. What I say is, you can run around. What does the text say? We should be, why have we thrown away what the Cameroonian law says on, about football? Why is nobody, why is there nobody talking about it? I mean, we should get back to this thing. You've just mentioned something about whether people are fueling, uh, fueling the, the minister and the president of the food. All those things will happen. We are normal human beings. There are people who love the president of Africa food. There are people who love the minister. In such a crisis, the law should prevail. What does the Cameroonian law say when it comes to the appointment of the coach of the national team, the technical team, and any other staff in the national management? What does the law say? Why is there nobody talking about the law despite these three weeks, one month of fight? Nobody is talking about what the Cameroonian law says. Why is it that we have thrown the law away? Are we a lawful state? If we are, now I think this is one of the moments we should use our law to put this problem. Mark you, Mr. Ko, this victory that some of us are celebrating it will not last for long. If I'm not a prophet of doom, no, if we, we, we don't, must, put, we must wish, we if, must wish for the best. Yes, yes that if we don't, no, I'm, no, I'm not wishing. If we don't solve this problem, this problem is similar. Somebody said it. That is similar to anglophone problem. When it started, people were arrogant and ignored the source of it. Look at where we are today, seven years on. This problem, you are seeing like that. So long as we are ignoring the, pro the permanent solution to it, and we think that I'm the one winning, I'm the one winning, arrogance, pride, I'm afraid it may land us, I hope not. I'm not a prophet. Yeah, it but, should not land us where... Why don't you think that the, 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 the victory that we had against uh, Cape Verde and probable victory that we are going to have tomorrow is going to force both parties... <laughs> Yes, because we, we must, we must win tomorrow. Kuhn, yes. Why don't you think that it is going to force both parties to see the need to conserve because we are going to end up uh, leading the, the pool? We, there, will be, there, there will be that uh, imperative for both parties to work together. If, if they were prepared to do that, there will not be two technical teams in, in Rwanda today. After that victory, it's been one, two days. It was enough for them to sit and say, no, this fighting should stop. These guys have proven us wrong. Let's reconcile. And then we send one technical team to one another. Two technical teams, which means that that fight has not stopped. It means that I'm not learning a lesson. That's my point. Yeah, but uh, maybe, uh, je ne sais pas si vous avez compris ce que je, je, je dis. Oui, est-ce que le conflit n'est pas aussi uh, poussé par des gens qui ont leur intérêt uh, caché? Parce que, uh, qu'est-ce qui explique que tout le monde dit que non, 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 le ministre est tout mauvais ou est tout, est tout mauvais. Non. Est-ce est est qu'on comprend non, non, en réalité, mm. lorsque euh, mes frères parlent mm. de suivre, la, la, de, de suivre n'est-ce pas, le règlement et les statuts qui doivent euh, effectivement euh, prendre corps au niveau du développement du football, je voudrais en rire. Je continue d'en rire parce que tout le monde sait très bien que hier, je dis toujours, l'actuel la, exécutif de la Fédération Camerounaise de Football n'a jamais dit non lorsqu'il s'agissait de nommer Samuel Eto et de faire partie contre ses Sao. Non, non, on n'a pas nommé et... Samuel Eto. On a voté Samuel Eto. Euh, je, je, je voulais parler, je voulais parler autant Berson. que moi de Rigo Berson comme entraîneur. Je voulais parler de Rigo Berson. Tout le monde le sait très bien. 
Et je, là, je parlais de Conte Sao. Conte Sao, il est arrivé au Cameroun comment Hugo Bros est arrivé au Cameroun comment Qui a gagné en 2017 Il ne faudrait pas sauter l'histoire. C'était de la même façon. Pour ceux qui nous regardent à la maison, c'est les mêmes rouages que Hugo Bros, qui a remporté la Coupe d'Afrique de 2017, est arrivé au Cameroun, qu'aujourd'hui, Marc Brice arrive. Ça, je peux le dire sans craindre. Et je sais exactement comment ça s'est passé. Je le dis parce que je sais. Je le sais. Il ne faudrait pas croire qu'il y a quelqu'un qui est arrivé ici par la voix du ministre. Je ne suis pas là pour défendre le ministre. Au contraire. Je suis loin de défendre le ministre. Mais je sais une chose, c'est que, comme hier, ça s'est passé de la sorte, aujourd'hui, ça continue à se passer de la sorte. Il y a un téléspectateur qui a demandé, qui m'a posé la question de savoir, est-ce donc normal que ça se passe de la sorte mais tous nous disons que ce n'est pas normal. Sauf que, que ce soit la Fédération Camerounaise de Football, que ce soit le ministère, les deux parties acceptent. Les deux parties acceptent. Le ministère des Sports n'a jamais dit non, je n'accepterai pas que euh, l'entraîneur soit nommé par les décisions, par les très hautes instructions du, de, 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 de la présidence de la République. Comme la Fédération Camerounaise n'a jamais dit non, nous ne voulons pas. La Fédération Camerounaise aujourd'hui, on a comme l'impression qu'elle ne lutte que pour certains postes dans ce staff. Pour preuve, elle a entériné Marc Brice. Est-ce qu'elle a dit non Elle n'a jamais dit non à Marc Brice. Elle a invité, elle a tenu même Marc Brice dans des réunions. Elle a convoqué Marc Brice. Elle a accepté Marc Brice, mais elle n'accepte pas d'autres membres de ce staff. Ça veut donc dire que quelque part, il y a quelque chose qui ne va pas. Et que cette chose qui ne va pas, ce n'est pas simplement, ça ne découle pas simplement du, du ministère qui accepte, qui accepte aussi Marc Brice et accepte d'autres membres de, de ce staff-là. Il faudrait bien voir le problème de la sorte. Est-ce que la fédération ne veut pas de Marc Brice Est-ce que la fédération a déjà dit non à Marc Brice Et pourquoi accepter Marc Brice et ne pas accepter d'autres qui sont venus comme Marc Brice Pourquoi C'est quoi le problème Est-ce que, est que, est que aussi vous ne trouvez, trouvez pas qu'il euh, y a problème que, euh, Banlock a été là, il est parti, il y a des problèmes. Est que, comment est-ce espérer que Banlock puisse travailler avec euh, le président Samuel Eto'o Mais Léo, 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 oui. Koumou, écoutez, oui. je dis très bien que le fait que Banlock ait été à la Fédération Camerounaise de Football, mm -hmm. n'est-ce pas, n'a pas interdit qu'il soit nommé là-dedans. Vous oubliez en fait très vite ce qui se passe au sein de ce football-là. On oublie très vite. On voudrait simplement oublier. Et voilà, je, je, je pose le problème. Est-ce que le seul problème, c'est Banlock Non, peut-être, 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 c'est là que ça cloche. Mais ah, on ne sait pas, peut-être. Mais non, n'oubliez pas. Peut-être, c'est -ce là-bas que ça cloche. On a, non, non, le problème, le, le problème découle. Parce que vous avez bien, bien dit que euh, Samuel, le président Samuel Eto'o a endorsé euh, Marc Price et ses adjoints. Pourquoi non, il n'accepte pas au Mambiik aussi. Non, non, les, 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 les deux... Le, 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 oui, Menunga, oui. Menunga et oui. Manoufi. Oui. Il les, a, il les a pris. Oui. Mais pourquoi il refuse euh, les autres Peut-être que c'est à cause de quelqu'un qui qu ne peut pas travailler avec... Non, ce n'est pas à cause de quelqu'un. Ce n'est pas une okay. question d'une seule personne. Mmh. On a comme l'impression que ici, la Fédération Camerounaise de Football est en train de vouloir mettre de côté ce que le ministre avait choisi hier. Parce qu'il ne faudrait jamais oublier que pour le ministre, il n'était pas question qu'on fasse partie qu'on ne sait ça haut après la Coupe d'Afrique. Donc ça, c'est une revanche, alors Ah, c'est quelque peu. Ce n'est pas une revanche, c'est une vindicte. En français, on appelle ça plutôt une vindicte. Okay. C'est une vindicte parce que ceux-là qui étaient avec qu'on ne ça haut, on a comme l'impression que ce sont eux qui sont les malvenus au sein okay. de ce staff. Ah, C'est-à-dire qu'on les avait fait partie. Ils on sont les a... revenus voilà. dans la maison. On les a fait partie mm -hmm. et ils sont revenus. Ce n'est pas la première fois au sein de l'équipe nationale hein, mm -hmm. qu'on fait partie... Personne ne parle de Moununga. Pourtant, c'est un entraîneur à jouer aussi. Pourquoi on ne se pose pas la question de savoir il sort d'où Moununga, il entraînait où, pourquoi il est là. Mais on veut savoir pourquoi est-ce que Oman Biik, pourquoi est-ce que Banlok, mm. 
qu'il y avait... Il ne faudrait pas dire que Banlock, lui, l'a démissionné de la Fédération Camerounaise de Football. Oui. Banlock, aujourd'hui, s'il est là, c'est justement dans le cadre... De... Sauf que je dis et je redis que... Il n'est pas fait, c'est que Samuel Eto'o n'a pas bien fait. Et c'est clair que la lettre, la lettre mettant sur pied ce staff n'est jamais venue du ministère des Sports et de l'Éducation Physique. C'est bel et bien venu, une fois de plus, de la présidence de la République pour le secrétariat, oh, okay. pour le secrétariat général des services du Premier ministre. Okay. Et ensuite, pour le ministère des Sports, il faudrait que ceux qui nous regardent le sachent très bien. Ok. Euh... okay. <rire> yeah, Mr. Ndiwoum, Oh, what we are talking about here is um, how do we uh, tame the flaring tempers because yes. bullets yeah, are moving cool. from all sectors. Accusi like yes, accusations and counter accusations. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, man, Buddha has taken the custom man yeah. for more suspension. Mm. There are people who have been transferred to yes. Burundi and uh, <laughs> such. Yeah. Mm. Uh, if people have been transferred by somebody. I think that person himself can be transferred. If he's transferred or sent back home, means there will be peace. But that's not even what I'm praying for. I want to think that the two belligerents should bury their pride and think about Cameroon. The history of Cameroon cannot be told completely without the successes of the football that this nation has given to us. We might have been having a bad image of how Cameroon is governed somewhere, but we can be proud to say that no, even though we are being governed in a very bad way, we have an aspect that can sell our image to the whole world, and that image comes from football. Even if internally we believe that the team, like Kanga Roman said, is made up of people from a particular part of the nation, it still remains the football nation of Cameroon. Now. The way forward, like I've been saying from day one, it was on this platform that I said the president of FECA Food might have faltered in many aspects of his administration. He's human. Two wrongs will never make a right. And since two wrongs cannot make a right, let the minister of sports call all of them. Mr. Liu, fighting is more costly than calling a brother to sit and talk. And that is the culture the Cameroon government and its official has actually refused. I said a while ago, when the Anglophone crisis started, we were shouting, dialogue, dialogue. They said, we will dialogue with who? But they knew the people to go and fight with. They didn't know who to dialogue with. Today, we are saying that Fika Food, uh, Minister, you remain the boss to Fika Food. There's no argument about that one. Since you remain the boss, play the role of a good boss. Call all the parties, sit down, talk and reconcile. But I have an impression that some people somewhere do not want this war to end, just like the war in English, uh, Southern Cameroon or whatsoever. There are people who are talking from their point of interest. Don't forget that at the center of all of this, my brother has done a good job. He has brought up a point here that I think the points are very correct. And it comes back to what I said. It is about score settling and personal interest. That somebody calls consensual to go. I have to punish the person using my prerogatives as the boss of this department. And you see that they are joking with Cameroonians' emotions. Because I know what Cameroonians hold when it comes to football. And I'm afraid to say this. We should not be surprised that football ends up bringing down Cameroon if it is not well handled. Because this is what has been holding Cameroonians captive for a very long time. Uh, it could also be that the gods wants to take out what has been blocking the eyes of Cameroonians not to see clear so that they should see clear now. And then something happens through this. Because I don't see what is so difficult in the president of Eka Food, the minister of sports, sitting together in Yaoundé. They don't need to pay plane before meeting each other. 
It's just a call that come. We see, we talk with Iron after that. After everything, you and I were serving uh, the ministry. We are serving Feka food. And one day we shall leave. But these structures shall remain. Now that we are there, let's serve Cameroonians. Because they are not there for themselves. They are there to serve Cameroonians. If they are refused to serve Cameroonians, uh, I would sincerely think that if the head of state still has a bit of what it takes to run this country, if he can step in at this time to serve Cameroon from the eventual shame that is building up, we will salute his we will salute his, his his steps. The only thing to do now, because I don't see the two parties sitting for peace. Let the head of state come in. If it means closing down Feka Food temporarily and <laughs> sending away the Minister of Sports for come to reign, let him do it. Since the instructions came from him that someone should be sacked, mm -hmm. let the very instructions come from it today. That there will be that there should be peace, and there, should, there will be peace. If at all the instruction have been coming from the study, okay. because people say some say fake instruction, some say true instruction. We don't know which one affect. We don't know which is true. But if the study is still at the helm of this nation, let the president of the republic, President Bia, give the final instruction. Okay. For this rubbish to end. Uh, good evening, Mr. Liu. Football will not uh, let us uh, leave for uh, peaceful lives as before. I think the only thing that can solve this problem is uh, replacing the Minister of Sports and as well a tool, just what you just said. Yeah. Since they are leaders of, yes. of this uh, politics, I'm Kajetan in uh, Bermuda. Good evening, Mr. Liu, and to all in the studio, especially to the kangaroo man. Uh, it's Elvis uh, writing from Shell New Bell. Okay. Good evening, Mr. Liu, and you are wonderful panelists. Uh, okay. A guy uh, says uh, same way that Mark Brace was appointed is the same way Rigobert Song was appointed, and that a two feeds was okay with the way Rigobertson was appointed. Now ask him if Rigobertson was appointed in the wrong way. Should we continue in that uh, wrong? Okay, good evening, Mr. Liu and all the panelists. Football in Cameroon has been a serious weapon to distract Cameroonians mm -hmm. from all the bad things they do. How do we explain that uh, we win competition and no development takes place? Even this saga for Faker Food, I mean, a sec. Now, a tool by government. Elections are coming, so these people need uh, to distract uh, people from thinking straight towards the need to be, towards what needs to be done for a change to come. Um, Ganeshus uh, writing from Meluf in Kumbu. Good evening, Mr. Leo and co -panels. Congratulations to the kangaroo man. There are IDPs all around the nation. Which footballer has given support to any of them, <laughs> Mr. Liu? They are working their money. Nicolin Tata is writing from Lebialem. Good evening, Mr. Kum. Please ask your guest uh, to do his research before coming online. He said South African football is going down the drain after organizing the World Cup. I will say a big no. Recently, Sundown won the African Champions League. Their league is the most improved league in Africa and war. Secondly, Mr. Fai said uh, football doesn't bring money to Cameroon. I think he should do his research. Recently, how much did we collect from FIFA after the World Cup? Billions of CFE. You should I, uh, say something family. else. Might be mismanagement. Each year, FIFA gives billions of CFA to develop grass root football. Okay, good evening, Mr. Liu. I see the fight between Minsep and Fika Food to be a great distraction. Mr. Liu, is Minsep only for football in the senior category or other sports involved? This country needs deliverance. Wanna try visit we here for Bamenda? Okay. <laughs> Snazi is writing from Bamenda. Good evening, Mr. Liu. I'm Jingu Nicholas from Boya. We pray the problem be solved. Let the minister respect the text that governs the football in Cameroon. Please help me, Mr. Far Elvis number. Mr. Liu, tell uh, the guy uh, to stop saying what they don't know. Okay. Mr. Liu, the minister is professor of law. <laughs> He's aware, but he keeps saying high instructions. But Prof Mvondo said it is when a high instruction is not in conformity with the law that it is not valid. Okay? Um, is that not also where the problem... Uh, the, can the high instruction... Um, be above the law. No, not, not be above. Can it go contrary to what the law stipulates? Because we are talking about convention here. 
that is the crux of the matter 2015 convention no. fika food rights uh, to fifa fifa says you guys fifa puts his position that all left for us fika food is supposed to be the organ responsible for appointing these guys but we are referring you guys back And that's why even when FIFA responds, I think FIFA too sometimes could be a sleeping FIFA. <laughs> because there were circumstances that led to that convention. No. Because the operation of the convention is not the way um, football uh, governing body is supposed to run. Is wrong, yeah. They say federations are independent and are not supposed to run with interference from the government. Yeah. But, that, but, but that convention 2015 was the contrary. Now, being the contrary, that why I said FIFA maybe did not do their finest way because they would have understood that even if it came like that, they would have forced them to abrogate it faster because it will cause problem now that the thing they, that that definition has stabilized. No, but FIFA wrote that no. they should do it no, as they, fast they as said, possible. They said as fast as possible, but mm -hmm. what they say on paper means that it's a gradual process. Forget about the grammar; they say as fast as possible, because in all of this, FIFA has been very technical in the approach. But I tell you that that's why I say that in football, that's what people don't understand. Nations that have a name in football. That can give money to FIFA. FIFA does not act with them on them faster. If it was Djibouti national team, would have, they would have suspended it long. Because FIFA would have calculated. But how much can this team, if they are still in the commission, give to us in terms of sales of tickets and all the like and sponsors? Those calculations are done. That is what people don't understand in the sporting this thing. That's why you see that each time probably a country is hosting. If that country has to go out in the first stage, it becomes a big blow. On, on, the, on the governing body. Because when they go out earlier, it affects the sales of the ticket. But if a host country gets to the final, the sales of the ticket and the turnover becomes completely different. Now, these are what are called football mafias. Now, you will not understand why they are pumping Cameroon, but in other junior nations, you will just. Nigeria had been, even been, at one point when the Nigerian government almost came in, at the time Cameroon was playing, or was making headway in football than Nigeria, FIFA almost, almost sanctioned Nigeria. And they call on the Nigerian government to order. But I think Nigeria was not very, it, it dwindled a little bit. But now that Cameroon now, they are counting on Cameroon, no doubt, because of the name football, as a football nation. So FIFA now becomes, they play a lukewarm attitude. Whereas they would have called a shot, a shot that this convention was because of this reason. And I think that it should stop now so that Fuka Foot takes its, its official duty as the head of the governing body for football. Now, if you look at it, I'll tell you that in all what we've been saying here, um the main thing is that we'll analyze today we go we come down but generally we change very little or nothing we we'll analyze today up and down we we'll change little why because as i said it's a ping pong game of interest just like what uh, mr jimbo said it's a matter of interest and score settling like what my brother said and so that way we realize that even in angola the wahala is still there which means they carry the wahala from home soil they exported they exported it now to angola if we are playing another qualifier in Europe, those there's a pollution that will still export it over to that area. But what matters is that if those who man the country main business, just like the Anglophone crisis, they can call the shop. You won't tell me that if we go to what the text says, and Eto is the one faltering, the president can call Eto, the presidency can call Eto to, 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 to order. Yes. That I am calling you, this is what the text says about this. Stop from here. Or they can call the minister to order. Why not dismiss the minister if he's the one causing the wahala? What is wrong in such a minister who is causing about wahala and what they say brings about unity? Because we say that football brings unity. Yes, but on the contrary, this one is bringing war. Okay, football is bringing war now. Add to the war in the north and south west. Add to the war in the far north region. War, war, war everywhere. Are we normal human beings? Something is wrong. Okay, something is wrong. Um, I just want, I want to clarify something with him. Est-ce que vous ne trouvez pas aussi que uh, c'est la FIFA qui nous met aussi il fallait que la FIFA tranche une fois que voici ce que vous devez faire. Quand la FIFA dit que, dit que rentrer euh, et ah, oui. le plus vite possible revoir la convention, qui va vraiment 
s'asseoir pour revoir la convention, sachant que la convention, s'il n'y a pas la convention, on remet le pouvoir de l'autre côté Non, la FIFA ne fait pas du pont spilatisme. Non, 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 non. Ouais. La FIFA est consciente que c'est la fédération camerounaise de football qui aura accepté cette convention. Ouais. À ce moment, la, la FIFA ne peut pas venir être contre une convention qui a été acceptée par une fédération. C'est pour ça qu'elle dit, avant de trancher quoi que ce soit, avant de parler de quoi que ce soit, aller revoir cette convention qui, en fait, ne rentre pas dans les statuts et les règlements de la FIFA. Vous avez voulu faire une convention spéciale qui aujourd'hui vous tient face à l'État du Cameroun. Allez-y, repartez, revoir l'État et demandez à l'État de changer cela. C'est pour ça que je vous ai dit que si l'actuel exécutif de la Fédération Camerounaise de football était un exécutif sérieux, ils auraient commencé à traiter de ce problème-là, il y a belle lurette. Parce que cette convention existe depuis 2015. Lorsque ceux-là qui n'était pas là aujourd'hui, n'était pas aux affaires, ça plaisait. On disait, oui, on a pris on a pris le pouvoir entre les mains du président de la fédération, il n'est rien, c'est le ministère qui commande, oui, c'est bien. Les gens sont montés au créneau pour le dire. Ils ont applaudi même d'ailleurs, ne sachant pas que le lendemain, ceux qui avaient fait Saint-Jean pourraient faire Saint-Paul. Ah oui, et c'est ce qui arrive là aujourd'hui. Maintenant, on va demander que la convention soit revue et corrigée. Est-ce véritablement le moment de demander cela C'est un peu comme lorsqu'on parle de la construction du stade. On a tendance à voir le ministre. On dit oui, le ministre, il n'a même pas terminé la construction du stade d'Olembe. On n'a même pas fini la construction du stade de ci ou de ça. Mais est-ce que ces stades-là qui sont construits, c'était sous ce ministre Mais comme l'administration est continue... Alors, on peut imputer ça à ce ministre, parce que l'administration est continue. Donc, normalement, si le ministre était un tout petit peu sérieux dans son administration, il aurait dû demander que ce stade-là soit terminé, en fait. Mais, comme il ne peut pas demander que ce stade soit terminé, parce que, des fois, il est obligé de croire qu'il va au rythme du gouvernement, c'est un problème. C'est un problème. Donc, il faudrait savoir si oui ou non... Cette convention plaît à un camp comme à l'autre. Parce que qui représentait l'État au niveau de la convention Il faudrait encore aller chercher cela. Qui a écrit la convention Qui a signé la convention Mais ce n'était pas le président de l'Africa Foot, c'était ah, ah, le président de la normalisation à, à, à cette époque-là, le professeur euh, Ouna. Voilà, c'était oui. le professeur Ouna qui oui. faisait office de normalisation mmh. et qui avait été mis sur pied par la FIFA. Donc, on était venu pour normaliser, mmh. parce qu'on estimait que le président de la fédération était quelqu'un qui avait beaucoup de pouvoir. Mmh. Donc, il fallait lui enlever une part du pouvoir. Et ça, ça plaisait aux gens qui ne savaient pas que demain, ils auront recours à la FIFA pour venir intervenir pour eux. S'ils avaient compris ça, immédiatement, ils auraient dit non. On ne ben, vous a pas ben, demandé ben, de normaliser. Ben, ben, ma question est que, OK, la FIFA demande que vous allez faire ça le plus tôt possible. Oui. Est-ce que tu vois ça euh, se passer parce que le pouvoir bon. aussi sucré. Moi, je qui, suis en train de qui croire... Aimerait, qui aimerait euh, lâcher le pouvoir comme ça Ah, je, je, je suis en train de croire que, quelque part, la FIFA est en train de dire qu'il faudrait remettre une normalisation. C'est ce que je pense, hein. Je pense que la FIFA est en train de, de signaler une normalisation. Pourquoi Parce que c'est une normalisation qui a... Oui, 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 ça c'est clair. C'est possible. C'est clair. Moi, je pense que la FIFA est en train d'annoncer une normalisation. Parce que, si c'est une normalisation qui a signé, et que la normalisation n'est pas là... On a un président élu qui est là actuellement et que la FIFA demande au président élu d'aller revoir un texte qui avait été mis sur pied par une normalisation. Ça veut dire qu'il y a quelque il a, chose. Il a, dit, il, il, il a anguille il, sous roche. Non, il a, il a dit aller, aller voir le ministère et voir et revoir la convention. Je ne sais pas si. si le ministère a, dira que ce n'est pas, pas, pas nous. C'était justement la normalisation. Mais, mais la fédération, ça veut dire que la fédération peut aussi dire que. C'est la, la normalisation qui a engagé ces trucs, ça ne nous concerne pas. Ah ouais, la fédération ne l'a pas dit pour la nomination de Rigobert. So yeah. yeah. uh, 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 
Uh, is there need to re to 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 review that 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 what uh, I want that, to that say convention? Is that I don't yeah. know what is actually wrong with us coming on because, mm -hmm. as my brother says, mm -hmm. if the convention was put there because of the normalization crisis, mm -hmm. the normalization crisis passed, and a president was duly elected, then that convention was supposed to be obsolete. Okay, the con because the convention is guiding normalization when there's no normalization to be guided by the convention. It means it's supposed to be obsolete. It means that the fact that FIFA is calling now during crisis, it will be very difficult to annul that, that convention now because people are benefiting from it. Okay, this normalization, this convention has put food into the mouths of some people. And I, as I said the other day, when I ask myself, but why this fight over appointing a coach? The real, does it really matter who appoints a coach? It goes beyond appointing a coach. Because if we were just appointing a coach, I don't think there will be this fight. This fight will go this far. There's something in the, in the curtain, behind the curtain that we're not seeing. And I think that with that, if my hypothesis is true, then that idea of putting aside the convention, you push your prayer for even a bigger fight. Because the food you are putting, the convention has put in the mouth of some people. They will not want to let it go. But I think that FIFA, this is when FIFA... But that's, to that's where, that is why I asked him that but, uh, the convention gives power to a camp. And then uh, this one says, no, it is our prerogative uh, to engage this. Who would want to let go today? Because no. FIFA says that you guys should do that as fast as, as possible. possible. Yes. And what FIFA is saying is that you were, this is my interpretation, you had this convention due to normalization. Mm. Normalization is over, you have an elected president. Mm. You should put this convention aside and let things fall. Because Cameroon now is a headache to FIFA. This is not what FIFA faces in other federations from other countries. Yeah. In other federations, the rule is clear. Who does what is clear? Cameroon now, because of their convention, is put, it's become a headache to FIFA. I don't think FIFA is very comfortable with that headache. So FIFA is saying that you push your goal now. Now that you have an elected president, sit down with your minister, the federation, and you, put, you, you, you solve this problem of uh, convention. is able to tell us today who is right or who is wrong yes um they wish the wishes of cameroonians are that these people should reconcile we are if there's one thing we have all agreed on on this platform is the fact that we regret that they left the stadium without reconciling because with that victory, that resounding victory in Amadou Ahijo Stadium was reason enough for them not to leave that field without reconciling. We have seen that the fight has been exported. Our shame has been exported to another country. And for the fear of the fact that bigger shame is in the build up to other things that may degenerate not only because each of them has its own supporters yes. including players including players the feka food has its supporters the ministry of sports has its supporters and it becomes very dangerous because here now we, we are not talking about two actors we're talking about three actors four four actors each person with its supporters and i fear a situation where you have to degenerate but i'm afraid that viewing at how the things are going it will degenerate the other thing now is that let the presidency of the republic put aside the minister of sports and put aside the president of eka food that's my suggestion if that is the only thing that can make peace to reign i i i think there are ministries in this country where the president at one point if a minister dies today they replace I don't see why a minister who is alive and not delivering or causing even, problems even should remain to be there. They will resign. They will not need to put people away. When you have such crisis, you cannot manage for long. You resign. No, in Cameroon, no, no, no. Please, please, you are wrong. If you have crisis, you are, cannot manage you. You are saying you something that resign. people can stun you yeah. via their screen this night. Yes. In Cameroon, nobody resigns. Who, who was supposed to teach that? Aman Aji resigned. 
Ah, his case was. Professor uh, Maurice Camto resigned. Ah, 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 please, please. I'm just giving examples. Gaga yes. Abad resigned. So, what I'm saying is that. So, it's possible. Mr. What Liu, the, the presidency needs to come in at this time as a matter of urgency. Since that. As, that yes. That as they are leaving Angola, before they land at Simalen, the president's decision is already on the table. If it is possible that as you are coming back from Angola, don't go to your office, the two of them. Wait first until you receive another high instruction before you resume your office. I think that's the way out. Because the two of them, pride, arrogance, has taken the better part of their brain. Nobody wants to give up. Everybody wants to remain the boss. Everybody wants to go right to the end of the tunnel. And going to the end of the tunnel means they are hurting Cameroonians without any remorse. Going right to the end of the tunnel simply means they have considered Cameroonians to be fools. They don't consider what Cameroonians, the interest, the entertainment of Cameroonians. So, two individuals should not add more pain to a county that is already living pain for a very long time. And if the presidency fails at this one, we have every right to conclude again that the presidency of Cameroon has failed completely. Thank you. Okay. Um, we are going to be ending at this uh, juncture. Uh, the kangaroo man. One last word uh, to the lions who are going to be taking on uh, the Pala the yes, the black yeah, the black panthers more. My last word, even I don't know. You said to the lions. Yes, to the lions. Okay. We are wishing them well. Mm -hmm. But well, I don't know. The last word I can say to the lions is that as people are going to play, don't make errors to take any side. Walk your money because you are walking your money. <laughs> While the SDO in Mezam should off leave the ban on commercial motorbikes so that pay should rain. If they off leave, Amber to off leaves, I think we'll be on a good footing because Bamenda is not is not too safe these days because of that banning. And so, and at the end of it. Last word is that the Yaoundé regime do everything to solve the Anglophone crisis because it is not getting better as the parliamentary and the senators who will be meeting you on the 11. We have been blowing grammar that everything is under control. It is not under control, Yaoundé regime. Yeah, very well. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, your last words, please. Yeah, our wish is that uh, what happened in Yaoundé will repeat itself with the victory of the Lions and that will also create a bigger window for the government and the Minister of uh, Sports and the FECAFU to sit and reconcile and solve this problem. I beg to differ with uh, my uh, uh, panelists, uh, Mr. Diwung, that uh, these guys should, uh, they should all be fired. I think uh, if they have to be fired, it means a lot of people be fired because so many things go wrong there in this country. I think the right thing to do is to implement a principle that will that would deter people from doing that. And that principle would be making a reference to the law. I think this issue of us, high instructions, has made some people to fear they are immune to the law in the country, which is a very bad thing. And once you do that, you, be, you are gradually graduating from a lawful state to a lawless state because some people feel that they are above the law and they can do anything. So my suggestion would be that to solve that, the, the, the crisis, we should go back to the text and implement the text fully, make the correction so that nobody tomorrow... Be, because if you fire them today, you appoint another minister, upon another Africa full president, they may have the verified tomorrow over the very condition. So the problem is not to fire them. The problem is to correct the situation and let everybody who comes in uh, respect the law. Okay. Thank you very much again for inviting me. Oui, uh, un mot pour les lions qui descendent dans la reine demain. Mais simplement qu'il n'est pas la tête euh, aux quiproquos et aux amalgames autour d'eux, qu'ils se disent qu'ils sont des vaillants, des vaillants soldats et qu'ils qu aillent euh, véritablement à la bataille qu'il remporte ce match et puis que la victoire soit effectivement un moyen, n'est-ce pas et fait, Comme l'a dit si bien mon frère au, au, autour de cette table, que, que cette victoire soit le moyen, n'est-ce pas, de mettre de côté et le ministre et le président de la fédération parce que on ne peut pas vivre au rythme de deux personnalités qui ont des égaux surdimensionnés comme ils sont en train de le faire au profit de toute une nation où les joueurs, eux, non que le football a produit sur le terrain. Ok, uh, we want to thank you all guys uh, for coming over. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much, Mr. Leo, and uh, I'm particularly grateful to my media prime because the interest you people have taken on this thing has been the kind of interest that every media house should take in this country. 
and the interest has not been a biased interest because every time it has been looking towards solution, solution, solution. So thank you, people, very much. Thank you to you, Desmond and Eli, for production. Tabi Tambe Brian for supervision. Stay blessed. Bye bye.